You can see just off to my north, you can see that they've got their big skip loader, the, the, the tractors working as hard as they can at extreme low tide, trying to get some of the sand that's normally covered by the ocean, bringing it up towards the houses and towards the coast, trying to protect just as many houses as they can with what little time they have left. The wind is hard to ignore and the rain and heavy surf will be impossible to miss as this winter storm starts to make landfall. Here in Del Mar, city crews are using their tractors to try to build back just a tiny bit of beach sand that has been lost in the major storms from last month. We're reloading that system and January was typified by sea cliff collapses of uh, Pacific Beach, Del Mar, Torrey Pines, all these places. Uh, we may very well be in for another episode of those. Beachfront homeowners who are still recovering from the last storms have learned some important lessons. The water was hitting the plywood and my neighbor did the same thing, but we used four by fours, they used two by fours, and the water hit the plywood and actually broke it. So the water came right over the seawall. Anyone in the way of the waves make a note, four by fours held, two by fours snapped. And homeowner Tony Vereno says he's learned from the last storms furniture left on the patio is a terrible idea. Took some of the furniture, patio furniture, and it crashed through their doors, their windows, the, the glass doors, and water then came in the house. Now forecasters are gathering their weather models together, and Professor Pat Abbott says San Diego could be in for a wild ride. The higher the winds, the higher the waves, the higher the tides. In other words, how do those things fit together? If they combine their maximum amounts, then we could have water going into the houses here again. That would be a serious problem. We've seen the surf model fluctuate wildly from as high as 25 feet to as low as 12 feet. So that would just be double overhead. That would be a welcome number as this surf is starting to move our direction. But that combination, all that together, that's the big question mark. And that's why these city crews are working just as fast as they can to protect the front strip of the coast here in Del Mar.